The chamber gives the floor to the co-prosecutors to resume the questioning. Pour poursuivre the du témoin. time left for the co-prosecutor and co-lead lawyer for civil party Il is only one session. Et pour les yes. Une seule uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, Merci, Monsieur le Président. Mr. Witness, I want to <coughs> return to asking you some questions Monsieur about your time in, um, in Zvairin. Je vais continuer à vous poser um, des questions sur la période que vous avez passée à Zvairin uh, in, in mid-1978. Um, did you see uh, any civilians remaining uh, in any of the areas that you were posted with your unit? Did you see any civilians remaining in any of the areas that you were posted with your unit? Dans l'une quelconque des régions où vous avez été posté avec votre unité. When I went to that réponse, front battlefield, there were no front, people at that location. Il n'y avait personne people were living dans cette localité. In the area from uh, to vivaient Dans la and after Kralko toward the border, Nelun. there were no people. Et après Kralko, vers la frontière, il n'y avait personne. Do you know what had happened to the people that qu'il est advenu des personnes qui vivaient dans cette région auparavant? Upon my arrival, people had been evacuated already because of uh, the intense, intensified fighting between the Vietnamese and Cambodian group, uh, soldier, troops. Rather. In that regard, I'd like to read to you a document. Um, and this is E3-862, English ERN 001-85207-08, Khmer 00021019, French 00814596. Uh, it's a report for the first week of May 1978 from sectors 23 and 24. Um, and this is what it says, quote, in Region 23, the Yuan enemy that invaded our territory beginning from 26 April 1978 has fallen into our trap and we have now surrounded them. In the battlefield in Region 23, we have destroyed the enemy to defeat completely and destroyed tanks. We have withdrawn people from four districts to live inside our territory. Those districts are Pro South District, Chan Tria District, Kampong Ro District, and Sam Rong District. And then in a little uh, a little later on in an area, uh, a section called People's Livelihood, um, he, uh, the document goes on to quote, because people in Prasout, Kampong Ro, Chantreya, and Samrong districts had to move back into the rear bases, they faced shortages of food, etc. Close quote. Um, is this the evacuation that you were talking about? Uh, moving people um, from the four districts that I mentioned into the rear bases? I have already told the chamber that if uh, we uh, were to move the people from the four districts, if we had not evacuated uh, people at that time, people would have uh, run away or have left uh, since, since there were heavy shellings and there were fightings 
at the location. Des bombardements aériens importants et il y avait également like ask you about des the combats heavy shelling and the fighting at that location. You already testified that uh, uh, indeed your uh, unit was involved in fighting immediately on your arrival in Zvairay, and when you previously um, attended uh, and gave testimony in this court, um, you said at 10.24.44 um, that uh, there were attacks back and forth with Vietnamese forces, and at 15.22.27 that there were large-scale attacks. Uh, is there anything that you can add to that for the chamber to describe what the combat with the Vietnamese forces was like when you were in Zvairieng? contre les forces vietnamiennes lorsque vous étiez à Zvairieng. The combat Les combats when I was there Lorsque j'étais là-bas was in a tug war situation meaning that uh, we pushed up back and forth une tactique We grand the Cambodian side en avant pushed en the Vietnamese out of uh, Cambodian location and we could keep control uh, that location for so for only one or two days. Then uh, the Vietnamese attacked us and captured back at that location. Pendant un ou deux jours, ensuite les Vietnamiens répliquaient et contrôlaient cet endroit. Nous vous questionnons à Sairien. Est-ce que les combats étaient quotidiens? The combat occurred uh, on a daily basis. We did not have time to relax. The distance, the distance from Prasso to the border uh, was uh, far. So usually uh, the uh, forces uh, would counter uh, the fighting with uh, different uh, divisions. Again, uh, the combat uh, occurred on a daily basis and uh, uh, Vietnamese uh, forces uh, came in large scale. You mentioned earlier that um, you got injured while you were in Zvairing. I believe you said it was from artillery. Can you tell us where you were fighting when you got injured? Can you tell us where you were fighting when you got injured? I was engaged in Pum Cho or Cho village. J'étais à dans le village de Cho. I was injured by the ammunition from the tank. Par des munitions qui provenaient d'un char. I was hit. J'ai été touché. Two times by the in fact, I was uh, injured by the ammunition from the tank, and once again, I was injured by the mine explosion. Et j'ai été à nouveau Were there blessé par une many explosion members de mine. of your intervention Question, brigade that were either killed or captured or injured by Vietnamese forces? Who were the people that you were injured by Vietnamese forces? Who were the people that you were injured by Vietnamese forces? In the course of uh, combat, there were a large number of fatalities within my unit, and many uh, soldiers disappeared. I do not know whether if those soldiers had been captured by the Vietnamese. I have never received news from uh, these soldiers uh, from that time onwards de ces soldats-là à partir de ce moment-là. You mentioned in response to a question of mine earlier that there were too many areas for you to name that you were engaged in fighting in in Sivai Ring because you moved around. Was one of those areas called Bavet where you were engaged in fighting in Bavet? Parmi ces endroits, Bavet. Est-ce que à Bavet vous avez livré combat? 
I told earlier that Réponse. upon, in fact, uh, the Vietnamese forces had uh, penetrated up to Prasot or Cho district already. I therefore could not uh, be moved or transferred close to Bavet. Were you engaged in fighting Question, uh, in an area that was known as the Parrot's Beak or uh, Chum Putea? À Chum Putea ou à Pert Beak? Ou plutôt le Bec de Perrot? Nous sommes les premiers à nous interpréter. Nous sommes les premiers à nous interpréter. Nous sommes les premiers à nous interpréter. À cet endroit, the endroit uh, Vietnamese had entered beyond their location already. Avait déjà et avait dépassé cet endroit. Do you uh, recall whether they had entered in, uh, beyond that location in June of 1978? Est-ce qu'en juin 1978, ils avaient déjà dépassé cet endroit? Vous en souvenez-vous? It is my understanding that in the course of combat, which was very large, I mean a large-scale one, Cambodian forces could not be able to push the Vietnamese forces too far from the location where we were in combat. We pushed back and forth at the time. But we could not uh, push back Vietnamese forces uh, to the border. Mais nous pas à Let les me read to you a frontière. quote from a newspaper Question, article that's on the case file regarding the Parrot's Beak region. Um, this is E3 slash E234. It's only one page. De Perroquet, um, le E3 uh, from 28 June 1978, Washington Post. Uh, and this is what it says, Mr. Witness, quote, the Voice of America reported today that about 80,000 Vietnamese troops have launched a major assault into Cambodia's Parrot Beak region. VOA quoted U.S. officials in Washington. The news agency said Vietnamese forces wiped out a Cambodian battalion in Thay Ninh province and another in Ben Cao district. It said the 160 Cambodian soldiers were killed in the battles. Cambodians, soldiers of Cambodia, were killed in the district of Chao Tang. Does that refresh your memory about a major incursion by Vietnamese troops in June of 1978? Ont bel et bien lancé une incursion sur le territoire vietnamien. I had not arrived yet at the location in June. I had not arrived yet at the opposing Party. La division 703 qui it was because the, the fighting became intensified uh, that I was transferred uh, from Takao to Swairien. Et c'est à cause de l'intensification des combats que j'ai été transféré uh, de Takao à Swairien. Question, est-ce que vous avez entendu dire que la division 703 était impliquée dans Tain les combats and ben dans Kao district? le district de Ben Kao, province de Tain? I heard about the fact that Division 703 uh, was engaged in the combat, but uh, that combat happened only at the uh, paved road. It did not reach Tainin. Almost all uh, forces uh, were destroyed by the Vietnamese troops at the time. Only a few soldiers left from that combat. Soldats ont survécu au combat. 
Uh, and was it because, uh, was it your understanding that because um, Division 703 Question, suffered such losses that that was why you were sent de from the southwest zone to the east zone along with the other soldiers? La division 703 que vous avez été envoyé là-bas. It was because of this particular point that I made mention that soldiers were selected from different brigades and formed a new brigade to reinforce the forces at a prosod qui est venu uh, we were sent to the location in order to attack the Vietnamese forces so that the Vietnamese forces at another at the tightening could move back to reinforce their forces puissent replier afin de were you aware of aerial bombardment while you were in Zviring uh, with you described some planes dropping rockets vous into avez dit qu'il y avait uh, des bombardements à Takeo. Est-ce qu'il y avait des bombardements par les Vietnamiens à Sphairien, tandis que vous étiez là-bas troops uh, use a lot of planes uh, at Svai Rieng, more than the planes used at Takao. Vietnamese troops use uh, different types of planes and a lot of uh, artillery at Svai Rieng. There was a, an intensified fighting before the infantry went to reinforce uh, each other forces. Les combats étaient intenses avant que l'infanterie ne vienne prêter main forte. Uh, was your um, intervention unit um, Question, est-ce que votre unité d'intervention uh, a eu à placer des mines uh, ou des pieux le long de la Vietnam? frontière, le long des lignes de combat contre le Vietnam Upon our arrival at Svai Rieng, we had no time to focus on laying spy straps or mines because it would uh, cause des des mines ou des injury or dangers to uh, people who were uh, fleeing that location. We did not uh, focus on laying traps or mines. I'd like to read to you a couple of quotes. Um, this is from an individual who testified just last week, uh, Deputy Commander of Division uh, la semaine dernière, of Brigade 340, de division, um, this is the draft transcript of 26 October 2016, 10.55.55, he says, spike traps were placed at the border, and those spike traps were made out of bamboo wood. We were appraised that we would be trapped also by those spike traps. Those spike traps were only laid at the border. Does that refresh your memory regarding um, members of your division placing spike traps along the border? membres de votre division ont placé des pièges à pieux le long de la frontière. Upon my arrival, I I did not think or plan to lay traps arrivée, pas pensé, or spikes. Pas non plus de placer des pièges. I don't think there were traps or spikes laid Et at je the ne location. Pense pas que des the des combat, the battlefield was in a large uh, area, so we did Le not uh, lay vaste. any traps or spikes. Donc, nous de pièges ni de pieux. This is, Je vais vous lire un document um, supplémentaire de l'accusation. C'est un rapport pour la première semaine du mois de mai 1978 pour les secteurs jumelés 23 et 24. 
and French 0081-459-8-9-8-9-8-9-8-9-8-9-8-9-8-9-8-9-8-9-8-9-8-9-8-9-8-9-8-9-8-9-8-9-8-9-8-9-8-9-8-9-8-9-8-9-8-9-8-9
ขมานจมเรียบหายท่า I ขมเตาสวายเรียงอะไรยะเพชรเขา I was I I went to Swaziland and stayed there for a very short time in mid 1988. Said the witness, I did not use a lot of tactics or tricks. I was injured, and after I got recovered, Vietnam penetrated penetrated already beyond Nha Luong or Cao Co. President interrupts. Uh, 1988 or 1978, Mr. Witness. 1978, Mr. President. Thank you for that clarification. Um, were you aware? Uh, had, did you hear at all about other forces other than your your forces that had preceded you, such as Division 703? Entering into Vietnamese territory to carry out attacks. Et avez-vous vous entendu dire de ces autres forces qu'elles avaient fait des incursions à l'intérieur du territoire vietnamien? Only Division 703 could enter. Could enter uh, Vietnamese Seule territory through Tainan location. Tainan uh, consisted of uh, forest or big trees, and in fact, uh, Division uh, 703 could only uh, go into the Vietnamese territory for a very short time. Then uh, they suffered a, a large attack by the Vietnamese, and very few uh, came back. Some uh, of uh, their forces uh, were captured by the Vietnamese troops, and some died. I'd like to read to you a statement that's on the case file. Um, this is the OCIJ statement E3 slash 376 of Le Yan, English 00278690-91, Khmer 00270173-74, and French 00486090. And this is what he says, Mr. Witness, quote, about seven months before 7 January 1979, I was ordered to organize former combatants into groups for fighting the Vietnamese. All chiefs of the group, the regiment and the division were all the southwest zone cadre. We went to fight along the road to Krek and Kampong Cham and went through Vietnamese Fort 27 into Tai Ninh province. My group was the raid of about 200 combatants. Sorn, the regiment chief, Nor was the chief of Brigade 207, and Tapin was the chief of division. My group entered about 15 to 20 kilometers beyond the border. Um, our fighting went on not less than three months, and we received the order from Tassorn to destroy and burn up everything. And he did not say anything about war disciplines. During our fighting in Vietnam, my group and I threw the grenades, burned the houses, and military hospitals. Close quote. Um, does that refresh your memory regarding hearing about uh, incursions into Tainan province that went up to 15 to 20 kilometers beyond the border? Qui sont entrés sur le territoire à hauteur de 15 à 20 kilomètres après la frontière? I am not aware of this particular fact. Upon my arrival, the Vietnamese troops had uh, gone to beyond the location where I was uh, there. Avait déjà dépassé l'endroit où je me trouvais. I'd like to ask you um, about a specific Question. report. Uh, by the Vietnamese news agency in October of 1978, um, which mentions your special intervention brigade uh, and also uh, Brigade 340. Um, this is a 12 October 1978 uh, VNA report, E3 slash 16, oh, 8 English. 
start over again. Le and here's what it says, Mr. Witness. Quote, On 1 October, Pol Pot Yang Seri October, troops, October, of troops, 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 troops of the 221st Division launched a large-scale attack in an attempt to occupy the enclaves along the Vietnamese defense perimeter in western Ben Cao, Tainan province. One Kampuchean regiment sustained heavy losses. More than 100 troops were killed on the spot. A number of others were captured together with a large quantity of weapons. On the same day, the Vietnamese armed forces wiped out the Kampuchean battalion of the 340th Division, three kilometers from western Ben Cao to the southeast, killed and captured almost 250 assailants, and seized 78 weapons. Um, Mr. Witness, uh, I guess I should first Monsieur ask you, were you uh, dire, with the 221st Brigade si in October, or were you already in the hospital in Phnom Penh at that 221, time? Ou que vous étiez déjà à Penh à I was in the hospital. Réponse, j'étais à l'hôpital. Despite being in the hospital, did you ever hear about your intervention brigade Question. being involved in a cross-border attack in Tainan province in October of 1978? In October 1978, in Tainan, in an attack transfrontalier. Yes. Réponse, oui. I was aware of that. J'étais au courant. I knew that one battalion was uh, reassigned to a siege brigade 703, and I did not know whether they uh, entered uh, Taining. I only knew that a battalion was reassigned to a siege uh, brigade 703 in uh, Tainin area. Because I knew that uh, soldiers were uh, retreated. Car je savais que les soldats battaient retraite à l'arrière. Did you capture any Vietnamese soldiers while you're involved in combat? Avez-vous capturé des soldats vietnamiens lors des combats? I was unit, uh, never captured anyone. Were you aware of other brigades in your division, other Khmer soldiers capturing Vietnamese soldiers at times during combat? Capturing parfois des soldats vietnamiens lors des combats. ดูเจมันทลอบจับเลยตัวสวายนอเลจเดย์เอ่อดิดนอตรีพอร์ตสปายริงเอเรียบีคอสวีเอเวอร์เซลท์เวอร์อินเอ่อดิฟิคัลท
all of the men and officers of the 7th Company of this battalion were killed. There was only one survivor. Sergeant Major Nguyen Van Ku survived, who was captured by our army that day. Mr. Witness, um, on the 31st of July, 1978, Following that, um, E3-75, English 00168931, DK Radio broadcast a confession from this um, same Vietnamese soldier. Does that refresh your memory that, um, indeed, on occasion, Vietnamese soldiers were captured um, and that um, they uh, were then sent to Phnom Penh? Ainsi envoyé à Phnom Penh. Witness, please hold on. And Councilor Coppola, you had the floor. Um, yes, I, I have a, um, objection, Mr. President, Monsieur in respect Président, of, of um, first document, uh, ce concerne le premier document uh, that was read to the witness. Qui a été lu au témoin. I'm not quite sure if, if I understood it correctly, but um, I believe the prosecution introduced it as a DK document. Comme un document de uh, démocratique. I'm not quite sure if that is, uh, is accurate. Um, it is in a exact. September 1978 document from a French organization in uh, Chantilly. Um, Chantilly. And it's called uh, Comité des Patriotes intitulé « Comité des Patriotes du Campuchea démocratique en France ». Je ne suis donc pas sûr que ce soit un document officiel du gouvernement du KD. Uh, it's fine. I'm happy to withdraw that description of it at the beginning. Um, Mr. Witness, uh, does that refresh your memory that at times um, Vietnamese soldiers were captured uh, in Democratic uh, Kampuchea uh, and that uh, they were then sent to Phnom Penh? Yes, that's correct. Thank you. Thank you. I have uh, repeatedly uh, said that I was wounded at that time, so I did not uh, keep myself up with uh, the uh, progress at the battlefront. I tried to recover myself. When you were engaged in fighting in Spireng, um, did you Lorsque vous participiez au combat à Sarien, avez-vous fait des rapports ou des télégrammes sur uh, le déroulement uh, des combats to your superiors? Rapport ou télégramme adressé à vos supérieurs. Je me sens bien. It is uh, typical in terms of the uh, commander and uh, deputy or the relationship between the uh, upper level to the lower level. There was a reporting regime which took place uh, daily about the uh, food supplies and the ammunition. Des approvisionnements en vivres et l'état des munitions. Question est-ce que vous décriviez également say, le déroulement um, des combats dans ces rapports Est-ce que vous précisiez les lieux où vous aviez mené les combats Réponse. Then uh, the uh, the tactics and the strategies had to be very detailed. Si it's not about carrying a gun to the uh, battlefield and uh, shoot the gun. We had to coordinate amongst ourselves front, and whether we could uh, retain them and for what reason and if we uh, could not, why we uh, could not. These uh, are part pourquoi? of the uh, war strategies, tout ceci and indeed uh, there was a report uh, between the upper and lower levels. Uh, I'd like to read to you a broadcast inférieurs. from October of 1978. Um, this is E3-294 uh, uh, from DK Radio, de la radio English 00 0170239. There's no Khmer or French. Khmer, this is what it says, quote, Recently, the Vietnamese enemies again sent their armed forces to openly intrude into our Kampuchea 
envahir ouvertement le Cambodge à travers les gens par la frontière. Mais euh, ils ont éventuellement été défaits. Les faits et les statistiques datant du 13 au 16 septembre 1978. D'après ces faits, nos armées révolutionnaires ont tué 422, 422 hommes et capturé des Vietnamiens saisis des B-40, 3 M-116, 111 M-112, 3 mortiers de 6 mm, des DK-82, 3 DK-75, 5 fusils de 12,5 mm, 5 Is this the type of detail that you would put into your reports when you would engage in combat? Uh, would you explain the types of ammunitions that you had uh, been able to mm, capture in le type de d'information que vous mentionnez dans vos rapports? J'ai expliqué au départ qu'il y avait cinq brigades. Ma brigade était une intervention. Donc, il intervenait en cas d'urgence. Quant au rapport des autres brigades, ils étaient envoyés directement à la hiérarchie. J'ignore la teneur de ces rapports. Report, you, you Vous avez parlé de rapports sur le nombre de victimes et le nombre de soldats morts, informations qui ont été envoyées à l'échelon supérieur. Je dois dire que cela dépasse mes connaissances. Had you, did you return to Zvairing Question. After you were in the hospital in Phnom Penh? Après votre hospitalisation à Phnom Penh, avant décembre 1978, ou à un moment donné, lorsque les Vietnamiens ont lancé l'assaut en 1978 Réponse non, je ne, je ne suis pas allé à Sphaïrien. J'ai rencontré des troupes après Veng. Drawn from to Car euh, ils s'étaient tous retirés de Sphaïrien pour aller à Préveng. Puis nous avons quitté Préveng pour Kantok en traversant le Tonlesap. Question, à quelle date avez-vous retrouvé vos troupes I went there uh, probably on the 1st of January 1979. It could be possible that it was on the 5th of January because we uh, arrived at Salalik Pram on Salalik the 12th Pram of January and it took us uh, 12 days uh, to walk from Prevain and I walked along with my uh, soldiers And by that time, there was no forces and spires in Vietnam had occupied Phnom Penh. So we walked across the Tonle Sap and we reached Sala Lake Pram in Kampong province. Thank you. Um, when you previously testified. Dans votre précédente you, you déposition, a fair of, of um, about the vous, of, vous avez longuement um, parlé biographies, de l'établissement um, des biographies when you were in, uh, uh, the Rouge, um, uh, uh, forces, lorsque um, vous faisiez partie des forces armées Khmer Rouge. Um, uh, Being, writing the biography and Vous avez individuals, dit d'avoir um, uh, rédigé la biographie et um, des then, gens um, enquêtaient sur vos données um, biographiques au niveau about, du village um, et assurer le suivi 
Vous avez également parlé des gens de votre unité qui avaient été emmenés lorsqu'on a découvert qu'ils avaient des relations avec des anciens officiers de l'ONU. Je ne vais pas lire tout cela, cela figure dans votre précédente révolution. C'est la transcription à 11h13.45 et 11h14.40. J'aimerais avoir des précisions um, that you said. sur deux choses. Um, so I would like to read to you, um, first a quote from your prior testimony in that regard. Un extrait de This votre at, um, précédente déposition, E1/193.1, uh, 10 000 la pratique dans l'armée du Khmer d'établir un tri de procédés intrus, dans mon entretien, ceux qui avaient des membres de la famille qui étaient des hauts gradés, ils étaient enlevés, envoyés à l'arrière pour élever des canards, des cochons, pour cultiver la terre a cultivé du coton, etc. Mais dans l'armée, il n'y avait que quelques cas. Quelques cas, par exemple, dans mon unité, il y avait deux ou trois cas. Et si je m'en souviens bien, rien ne leur est arrivé. Fin de citation. Comment avez-vous su ce qui est arrivé à ces personnes de votre unité They had connections qui ont été convoqués parce qu'elles avaient des rapports avec des anciens officiers de l'ONNOL. Réponse. Je confirme ce fait. In my unit, dans mon unité, ceux qui avaient des liens avec les anciens officiers au gradé du régime de l'ONU étaient réaffectés à l'élevage de la volaille ou à la culture des légumes. Ils n'étaient pas emmenés pour être exécutés, mais ils étaient réaffectés de l'unité militaire pour aller élever les, la volaille ou cultiver des légumes. Et Mais cela s'est passé dans ma brigade. L'accusation, ma question est la suivante. Comment savez-vous que lorsqu'ils étaient réaffectés, ils étaient envoyés à la culture des légumes, à l'élevage de la volaille, ils étaient envoyés casser des roches Comment l'avez-vous su Les avez-vous vus effectuer ces travaux In the army, uh, there were, uh, investigators, réponse, though, uh, dans l'armée, il y avait des enquêteurs. Uh, 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 J'ignore d'où ils venaient, to be concrete. mais leurs enquêtes étaient concrètes. They, uh, conducted a thorough investigation des gens those étaient people réaffectés were sur la base assigned. de ces enquêtes. And, uh, They would uh, notified about the reassignment. For example, on a Ces particular day, this person will be uh, reassigned uh, here or there. Exemple, on disait, tel And jour, uh, there were only uh, a few cases uh, that happened ici, in my brigade. Dans ma brigade, il y a eu so, que quelques cas de ce genre. Question, si je vous ai bien compris, ce sont des enquêteurs qui vous ont dit que ces personnes avaient été réaffectées. Est-ce d'eux que vous tirez vos informations concernant les gens de votre unité. Yes, uh, that is the case. La réponse oui. C'est exact. Question, avez-vous jamais vu ces personnes revenir dans votre unité ou dans d'autres forces de la région après leur réaffectation Regarding the uh, investigation and the reassignment, it happened in 1976. L'enquête 
et avait une affectation, se sont produits en 1976. Lorsque les Vietnamiens nous ont attaqués, et ces personnes ont toutes été réaffectées. Ils sont toutes redevenues soldats. C'est ce qui s'est passé dans mon unité. L'échelon supérieur leur a permis de réintégrer l'armée. Elles ont retrouvé leur poste pour que nous ayons des forces pour pouvoir contrer les attaques vietnamiennes. Je vais vous poser une dernière question. Je vais vous poser une dernière question. When you testified before, I'll just read it to you. Sur ce que vous avez dit, this is at 10:07:10, and this is what you said, Mr. Witness. In general, in the military forces, of course, people would talk from one to another about the screening, about the removal of this person or that person. However, there was no official instruction for the commanders to proceed with this policy of something. Mais il avait like us or like myself, I was not instructed to do so. Moi, and for instance, even in my unit, if people were to remove, I was unité, not informed. Si enlevés, there would be instructions from the upper informé. echelon, and those people would have removed. Des Question. Pour do you know who came to remove the people from your battalion and where they were from? Answer. They either came from the divisional level or from the zone level. And when they arrived, they would say they would like to invite this person or that person as they were required by the upper level. And of course, I did not have anything to say in that, and everybody was scared. I, myself, was scared. In particular, during the period from 1976 to 1978, regardless of your position as an ordinary combatant or a commander, everybody was scared. And that's the real situation at the time. Is that correct that you were scared at that time? Yes, it's right. Thank you. Thank you. That is correct. Can you tell the court what it was that you were scared of in that 76 to 78 period that you say that everyone was scared of? Entre 1976 et 1978, lorsque vous dites tout le monde avait peur. Importantly, we were scared that we. We were accused of having affiliation or tendency with the former Lunar regime. Frankly speaking, I also had my uncle, who were former Lunar soldiers and policemen, and some of them also were medics. For that reason, I was afraid, although I was a commander. However, I did not show anyone that I was afraid. I only kept it to myself. Manifesté ma peur, je l'ai gardé pour moi-même. And what exactly were you afraid might happen if they discovered that some of your relatives were former law and order officials or soldiers? Si l'on découvrait que certains des membres de votre famille avaient été des fonctionnaires ou des officiers de l'ONOL. It is my understanding that I was afraid at the time. However, I also understood that only high-ranking lunar soldiers or those who were connected to them were removed. But my relatives and uncles, they were low-level soldiers. So that is, if that is the case, then. Quant à mes oncles, c'était des soldats subalternes. For those with high-ranking officers, then it's a real concern for them. J'étais peut-être en sécurité, mais pour ceux qui avaient des liens avec les soldats ukrainiens, ils avaient matière à s'inquiéter. Question. Pourquoi devait-on s'inquiéter d'avoir des rapports avec des soldats haut gradés de l'ONOL? They were concerned. As I said, they were reassigned, but they were not killed. And they were reassigned to arrest the poultry, for example. And the only thing is that they were not allowed to carry arms. So I just want to understand 
your testimony is that they were scared and you were scared and everyone was scared because they might be assigned to raise poultry. Is that correct? Parce qu'on pouvait être envoyé à l'élevage de la volaille. Est-ce exact? What I mean is that uh, we were concerned if our relatives were former Lonor soldiers. However, allow me to stress that uh, Lonor soldiers here refer to uh, high-ranking officers. Then those who were connected to those high-ranking officers would be reassigned. But for those who had uh, their relatives who were soldiers, low-ranking soldiers, they would not be reassigned. Mais les personnes qui avaient des liens avec des soldats subalternes n'étaient pas réaffectées. Uh, Mr. President, I don't believe I have any more uh, questions. Uh, thank you, Mr. Witness. Uh, and the civil parties have informed me that they don't have any other questions. Merci, Either. Monsieur le témoin. Les parties civiles viennent de m'informer qu'elles n'ont pas non plus de questions. Thank you. Le président, merci. Je passe à présent la parole aux équipes de la défense, en commençant par l'équipe de défense de Nunchia, pour interroger le témoin. Vous avez la parole. La défense. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Good afternoon, uh, Mr. Witness. Bonjour, Monsieur I'll be asking you some questions on behalf of my client, Je vais vous poser uh, des questions au nom de mon client, Nunchia. Um, um, let me start, um, if I may, with some, um, some general questions about you. Je commencerai about, par des questions um, d'ordre général you, um, sur votre personne. First, another question. Do you know a person named uh, Chukrin? Connaissez-vous un dénommé Chukrin? You mean uh, Chukrin from Kampot? Réponse. Vous voulez parler de Chukrin de Kampot? I believe so, yes. Uh, who, uh, who was also a member of Division 703? Question. C'était un membre de la Division 703. But no. Réponse, non. Uh, Chukrin was uh, not... From 703. Chukrin n'était pas de la 703. Chukrin was actually from 405. Il était plutôt de la 405. He was not in 703. You're, you're probably right. Uh, he himself Question. said that he was raison, uh, inserted into Division 703. Qu'il a été intégré uh, dans la Division but, 703. Um, but that's not important. You know Mais ce n'est pas important, um, vous le connaissez. Let, let me tell you why I ask you, uh, je vais vous I dire ask pourquoi you, uh, whether you uh, know je vous pose cette question, uh, he said de savoir si vous le connaissez. Il doit dire quelque chose sur vous. Confirmation from you. Et j'aimerais um, vous demander confirmation. C'est le document E3, M. le Président, E3-361, PV d'audition de Chukrin, RN en anglais, 007 452 et en français, 0026-8884, et en français, 0011-4466. Inpan, qui est toujours en vie aujourd'hui, et qui a le grade de brigadier général, une étoile, région militaire 5 de Batambang. Il l'a dit en 2008. Est-ce que vous êtes are you a brigadier general one star? And are you still having that position? Est-ce que vous une étoile et occupez-vous toujours ce poste? Qui est maintenant ta daïlé alors nous qui est maintenant dans un Réponse non. Non, je suis commandant général de l'étoile des étoiles et commandant adjoint de la région 5. Um, can you tell us when you um, became a major general quand vous êtes devenu commandant général Cambodian army? de l'armée cambodgienne? Uh, 
Please uh, repeat your question. Ma réponse. Veuillez um, répéter votre question, maître. Well, let, let me ask it um, completely differently. La défense. Um, Je vais procéder is différemment. Uh, Est-ce que ça peut dire, uh, you, donc, à un moment, en 1977, um, vous et Mies Moutet avez été réintégrés dans l'armée royale cambodgienne That is correct. Une réponse, oui, c'est exact. And, um, Question. When you and your, uh, and your forces, I presume, were reintegrated into Lorsque vous et vos um, hommes avez été réintégrés um, the Cambodian Royal Armed dans l'armée royale uh, cambodgienne, a, a êtes-vous alors general? devenu général à une étoile ou deux étoiles I joined uh, with the government and I was appointed by the king as a brigadier general. From that time onward, I have performed my duties and then I was promoted to a major general. And do you know if something Question. similar happened to Mia Smoot or did different things happen with Mia Smoot when he uh, integrated together with you in, uh, into the Royal Armed Forces, um, Royal Cambodian Armed Forces? Il a été réintégré au sein des forces royales d'armée cambodgienne. Bon, Mia Smoot, God. Brother Mia Smoot. Frère. Rank was the major general and he is advisor to the Ministry of the Defense. Um, last question. question in this uh, regard, Mr. Dernière Witness. Question. Um, when you reintegrated Lorsque into vous avez été um, the Cambodian Army, were you Cambodienne, avez -vous uh, told that you vous -on would dit not be prosecuted for anything that happened during DK? Que vous ne seriez pas poursuivi pour rien de ce qui s'était passé sous le Campuchia démocratique. I was informed that there will be no prosecution against pas de poursuite contre moi. Uh, thank you um, for that clarification, Je vous Mr. Witness. De cette précision, um, le my following question is about um, um, your, your deputy commander, uh, Sok Chin. Sok Chin votre uh, commandant he also adjoint. gave um, testimony to the investigators of, of this court. Um, do you know whether he is still alive uh, today? He is alive now today. And it, 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 is he also uh, a member now of the Cambodian um, armed forces? Fait-il également partie des forces armées cambodgiennes? He is currently a part of the uh, staff of the Réponse. infantry and il his rank is de, uh, major, general. major general. He, um, general de division. as I said, gave testimony to uh, investigators, Comme that is dit, is document E3-428. Um, English ERN 0037 Command 0037 French 0048547 This is what he said and let me read his answer uh, Let me read the question and answer uh, to you uh, what situation did you see happen 
quel est l'actualisation à laquelle vous avez country. assisté Both en ce qui concerne les cadres de la zone Est, qu'il s'agisse de militaires ou de civils, lorsque uh, vous êtes arrivé. Mid- This is what he says. When I reached Sfairing province, I did not see any people living there, not a single one. I only saw the troops from the southwest and the troops already there in the east, like Division 885, for example. Um, As for the south area, Vietnamese troops had already occupied it, and it was a hot battlefield. When I arrived there, I heard news from among the troops that the East Zone troops of Sao Pim had committed treason and had joined forces with the Vietnamese army. Ren announced at a meeting a annoncé and then he is quoted, lors d'une réunion, um, le site Rennes, Sao Pim and Sao a number Pim of East Zone forces have joined with the Vietnamese uh, to attack and overthrow the Khmer Rouge. Pour attaquer les Khmer Rouge et les renverser. Uh, end of quote. Fin de citation. Mr. Witness, this um, testimony from your deputy commander, Sok Chin. C'est donc votre adjoint, uh, Sok Chin, qui correct? témoigne. Est-ce que son témoignage est exact Some points are correct. Certains aspects sont vrais. Could, could you tell the chamber which points are correct? Question. Lesquels? I told the report earlier that when Ryan convened a meeting, he spoke about uh, the East Zone, who were traitors and who were not. I uh, could not tell you the detail of uh, the the speech he made, but uh, he did speak about the traitorous people. Um, Thank you for the clarification. Um, But what I'm particularly interested in um, is what he says that um, what, what he had heard about uh, Sao Pim is that he heard news from among the troops. Um, is that something that um, your troops knew or um, how was that information relayed to the troops um, about Sao Pim? In Svairiang province and within the old division of Sao Pim, from the east zone, for example, division 805, you mentioned, uh, the, the, that division was based in the east. Cette division that, a été basée that news dans l'Est. was mentioned by uh, people. People Cette spoke about that from one another. Par les gens. Les gens se les uns aux I heard about it from the uh, division which was based at, in the East. Basée à l'Est qui me l'a um, but he also said um, that Sao Pim had joined forces Question, with the Vietnamese army. Également que Sao Pim a um, a uni ses forces aux troupes vietnamiennes, l'armée vietnamienne. Êtes-vous en mesure what, de nous dire he, um, have ce qu'il entendait par là Him being your deputy commander, Sao Pim had adjoint, joined forces with the Vietnamese army. Sao Pim When a did he do that? Uh, how vietnamienne. did he do that? Do you Comment know this? Qu'il a fait ça? Savez-vous quoi que ce soit? I am not sure on this particular point. I, I have uh, nothing to tell you about the sources. I am not sure about that.
President. President. Thank you, Council, Merci, and thank Maître. you, Council. Uh, Vines, rather. And the court is now Merci, uh, take a short break. Now take a short break. And uh, court officer, please assist the witness in the waiting room during the break time and please invite him back to, together with the duty council into the courtroom at 3 p.m. The court is now in recess.